welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Rakdos Aristocrats. This is a pretty sweet looking uh, donation deck here that uh, really focuses around us sacrificing our own creatures. And that's what the Aristocrat kind of uh, deck name kind of refers to is wanting to sacrifice uh, or like sacrificing your own creatures for profit, basically. Um, the poster childs of that, of course, are Priest of Forgotten Gods here. They can sacrifice some things uh, to um, for this nice trigger, make our opponent lose life, make them sacrifice a creature, add some mana, draw a card. You know, it just does a whole lot of stuff if we get Priest of Forgotten Gods active against different creature decks. Uh, that can be uh, a nice snowball -y card. But then we also have Mayhem Devils over here. So we have four Mayhem Devils. So whenever any player sacrifices a permanent, deals one damage to any target. So if our opponent, like whenever our opponent sacrifices something from Priest of Forgotten Gods, or if they activate, if we're playing against Mono Red and they activate a, a Firebrand, for example, it'll trigger. Triggers whenever anybody sacrifices anything. Our combo to go with the Mayhem Devil, of course, is Bantu, where we can play a Bantu and sacrifice all of our permanents and get that many triggers off of the Mayhem Devil uh, to do a whole lot of damage. So yeah, this is just a nice, a good uh, red-black creature aggro. I kind of like these Tabalts main deck too. I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, just really wanting to get ahead, stay ahead, finish games off. So this looks like a pretty nice build here. So let's go ahead and, and try it out. We are going to be playing it over in the traditional Constructed queue, like we always do with the donation decks. Play until we win five or lose two. All right, let's give it a try. We'll update our record over here. Thank you. Thanks for the luck. Ooh. That luck's already paying off. Got a nice hand here. Go get him, Firebrand. Brixus. Well, unfortunately, this isn't really the matchup for Priest of Forgotten Gods. Uh, with our opponent not playing, like if they're not playing many creatures. I mean, I guess if we can have it out there, if we ever get to activate it against like a Nicol Bolas, could be really nice. Ooh, Dreadhorde Butcher. You know, ideally we wait till we get to draw three with Reveler, but I could also cycle away the Priest. <laughs> He's right here. You can see him. He's just standing up, or sitting up, I guess standing up. All right, getting our devil on a unicycle in play. Boo. Hmm. Why should I have played this pre-combat? Did I sacrifice a permanent? It's not like Judith, that just whenever creatures die, it triggers. We had to sacrifice them. Hmm. 
Hmm. Tough call. Ugh, gross. So I could definitely see my opponent playing Nicol Bolas. Yep, that's the card that I was thinking they're gonna play. And so I realized that like, oh, well, that's a good draw. That would have been good to keep the Reveler. We would have hit that. Well, I guess we would not have hit that because we would have just drawn a, a land. All right, so we'll sacrifice these two. So that's why I wanted to play the Priest of Forgotten Gods was because of Nicol Bolas the Ravager. So that all worked out. I would be honored. My assistants are painfully sloppy. All right, now we don't have to worry about an enter the God Eternals with that Tibalt. And there we go. Shut him down. All right, so against Grixis, let's get some Duresses. Let's get some just War Bosses, Chandras, Angraths. Don't hate Lava Coil, you know, for Bolas. But I guess we have the heart fires that could kill him. So I want priest. I mean, Cry of the Carnarium is like the card that I'd like to try to dodge. I'm just kind of thinking about taking out a Bantu since I'm bringing in more fives. Maybe not. Bantu is really good. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, Mayhem without Priest. That's a good call. I mean, if they do have Enter the God Eternals, we're going to want this. Which is pretty likely. The good part about Mayhem Devil, though, is it survives Cry of the Carnarium with, like, what, like a card like Judith or Legion War Boss do not. Yeah, I like Chandra as a card advantage thing that's not... Like, they're going to be really focused on uh, killing creatures, right? You know, like Cry of the Carnarium Ritual said, all these, like, probably Moment of Cravings, Enter the God Eternal... You know, like, all these things that kill creatures. I think that's where they're going to be focused, and Chandra can be kind of a, a separate card advantage, where if they just have, like, a creature like a Nicol Bolas or a Kefnet or whatever to attack that's going to really hurt them where it forces them to have a planeswalker removal spell. All right, I don't I don't know what that's about. I guess that's that looks like a little bit of an oversight boarding, but I guess trying to get rid of gutter bones, I guess. But not only do they, I think they mulligan to five, right? So they mulled to five and then also just had a Sentinel Totem. <laughs> Can I just have one more land? I mean, not, not actually draw a land deck. I, I meant like one more land in play.
Man, Angrath is really good. <laughs> that is brutal. Yeah, we'll just take your 4-4. Four -four. Thank you. <laughs> Please run your crew for my freedom. <laughs> I'll attack Sarkin for two. And you for four. Come on, I will consume you. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> there is no peace in defeat. Angrath's pretty sweet with Bontu, like later on, like if you untap with an Angrath and they play like a Nickel Bolas the Ravager and you steal it, but it would go back and then you play your Bontu and sacrifice it. In exchange for eternal servitude. Um I'll scare it of land. Your defiance has infuriate my intellect is without limit. Uh, why'd I get rid of the land? This would have been a really nice double spell. No fire, no steel. All right, gonna do two to the bolus. So if they want a minus to kill something, it just gets rid of the bolus. But we could have basically just killed them by just playing the by keeping the land and having the Judith there. A will. So do they have Cry of the Carnarium? Oh, that's smart. I forgot Bolus can do that. It could have killed my Angrath. All right, yep, good start, good start. Want to know? Very good start. All right, what do we got here for match number two? A very keepable hand. That's what we got. We're facing the mirror. Hmm, guess not. We've gotten thought erasured a ridiculous number of times tonight. <laughs> Certainly over definitely over fifty percent of our matches that we've been playing tonight have been thought erasure decks. Um I can't remember, what did we play the first Golgari Citadel matchup? Because I know the other five matchups were all. Whatever that first one was. The last two with Grixis Amass. I think it was the last two. I don't know. Been a whole lot of Thought Rager, though. I think five of the last six decks have been Thought Rager. Yeah, because then the other one was banned.
Come to think of it, I don't know if we've played a deck... Played against a deck today that wasn't either Bant, Thought Erasure, or like the one mono red. Just Nissa, Thought Erasure, and Mono Red. Are there other decks that are not Nissa, Thought Erasure, and Mono Red? Is that possible? Could have held up Priest of Forgotten Gods activation here. But get another point in. Gonna hopefully. Well, main deck cry out of Carnarium, that's rough. I was, what I was getting at there was hopefully get to un attack one more time and be able to ki surprise kill our opponent. Oh yeah, the, the Cry of the Canary, I'm still going to exile it anyway. Doesn't really matter. I was hoping to get one more attack in with the priest before keeping it back to sacrifice. I should keep that mountain in hand, I guess, because they could thought erasure me. Or just even dispersal. Yeah, I should keep that mountain in hand. The reason why I played it because I was thinking of uh, Bantu. That was the reason I played it. Come on, Mayhem Devil, you can do it. You can do it, little devil. Just ride this unicycle to victory. Trigger. They made a sacrifice. Trigger. Come on, unicycle devil. You can do it, little buddy. One Dread Horde Butcher. I'm a god once again. Another time claims more. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Dread Horde Butcher. So I cannot exploit. Dang. That's three devils in a row. <laughs> Alright, now we rip Bantu. Oh, I won't have the land for Bantu though. Never mind, don't rip onto. Alright, Judith works. That'll play. So how am I doing the last two points of damage? Unclear. Don't know how I'm going to do these last two. I will 
return. Yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher would be nice. I For sure. Eons ago. Ugh, I thought that was Butcher. All right, they're down to one. Fanatical Firebrand. Fanatical Firebrand. Or Dreadhorde Butcher. Those are our two outs. Butcher and Firebrand. We have four of each. Uh, well, we get another draw. No, we don't get another draw. Nothing minus eights. Yeah. Go ahead, do your minus eight thing. There you go. Yours is the face of the weak. All right. Uh, same thing we just sideboarded. I'm gonna take out one bond too. Want these out? That out? All right, here we go. It's not the luckiest. We need black mana. Yeah, we're mono red now. With a, a with just two monkeys. And that's it. I wish I would have got rid of the Judith. All right, well, one Judith down. Please, no cry of the Carnarium. I can't, can't be that card. They kept their card on top so fast. Oh! They did keep their card on top, right? So did they just keep... They just kept Cry of the Carnarium, but now they just have to draw a land? Well, whatever. We're, we're going for it. Maybe they just kept a two-mana removal spell. Yeah, maybe it's no cry. Come on, Chandra. 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 Chandra's friend, Judith. They don't, like, they don't like my Judiths. Alright, well, we're out of Judiths. 
War boss. War boss. Chandra. Mountain. Are the monkeys going to get there? Look at how happy these monkeys are. No. Monkeys aren't getting there. Oh, the butcher. Ah. So dis dispersal would have got rid of my butcher and so kept it laying there. All right, we got there. Didn't look like it, but we did it. All right, game three. Firebrand so strong. All right, we gotta keep this. So we'll go go with gutter bones. I think it's worth it to shock in here because we could draw another firebrand, where we'd want like double red next turn. Like going, you know, like firebrand, firebrand. Possible. didn't, but it was possible. Oh, did I not update the decklist command? Thanks, Funder. Thanks for letting me know. Stop drawing lands. What'd they do over here? One graveyard, one not graveyard. I should dress first, but I should dress and I guess just see if it's safe for my war boss. But I don't know, I just used to last game clicking over so much. Well, let's get the mountain. Good to have the Mayhem Devil down. All right, so we get to heart fire deal five, and they don't get to gain the two. Pretty clutch heart fire there. Uh, puts them back up to five. Chandra. No. Oh, that Angrath though. My heart. 
My heart's on fire for that Angrath. GG's 2 0 against Grixis Control. Witness a moat of my power. Man, Rakdos cards are fun. We're doing the traditional constructed thing where you pay a thousand gold and and play till you win you win five or lose two. So we are two over Grixis control here. Yeah, you know, like we played the Rakdos zombies yesterday. That deck was a lot of fun to play also. You know the Rakdos aggro deck, we're doing the Rakdos Aristocrats today. Rakdos decks confirmed fun. Well, if our very first land was a mountain, we could have like turn one gutter bones, turn two mountain, reveler, ditch something, look for something else. No, it's not worth it to risk it, but the hand could have worked out well if every single card was a land. The Lana War Elf. This is tough. You usually want to just play the Priest, but Butcher just gets better. Playing it and everything. My least favorite guild, probably, uh, is it blue red? That's the color combination I play the least and everything. And usually blue red cards are like just a bunch of like random. Uh, random's not the correct word, but sorry, but just a bunch of spells and spell matter stuff. And I like my creatures, and my permanents. And is it's usually just a ton of instant speed things. I like my, my sorcery speed game. That is that is true though. We are wizards. We, oh wait, we're we're planeswalkers. Yeah, <laughs> you've never heard anybody say they like sorceries. Like sorceries, they're just straight up. Oh, I should have done three. Yeah, I should have done three. I was thinking, I was like, I don't really want to go down to two lands. But yeah, I guess I, I should have just sacked three to kill the, the Wild Growth Walker. Power surges through these 
these lands. Are we going to be able to kill our opponent next turn? Behold, nature's true Maybe not. Power. Maybe. So I play these two, I sack these two, and sack Firebrand. So I can do one, two, and then a three, then a fourth upstairs is 12, and then they lose two life to go to 10, and then we get to attack for eight to put them to two. Oh, but then, then they lose two life with Priest also. Right, so... Um, so attacking for eight, they're at five. They lose two here. Oh, I think I already counted that. They lose two there. No, but then the, the triggers. All right, I think this is going to work. I don't know. I'm just going to play the things. Sacrifice this and this. No, this is going to put him to two, isn't it? Because then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, this is going to put him to two. So let's let's kill the Nissa. I would have put him to one, because the, them sacrificing Mayhem Devil Target. So if I would have done the extra point there, you know, we could have attacked for eight. We could put them down to one. But I'll just kill Nissa. And we'll have them at seven. I am in need of rest. Yeah, they, they sack also. I, I, for, I missed that trigger, so that would have been one, one extra point. So we, we would have, like, if I would have just dealt that extra point upstairs, we would have put them to one. But yeah, like they're they're dead here. They're they can't can't survive that. All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that turn was okay. Yeah, Priest against Nyssa is, that is awesome. Uh, yeah, Angrath can snatch Krasises, that's true. What happens with, like, if you sn snatch a land that they Nyssa plus? Do they just sacrifice the land? I guess so, right? thing is, the, these do cost 5 mana, which is a lot. Kind of like everything our deck has here. Yeah, we make them sacrifice Wild Growth Walker and everything like that. I don't I don't know what's bad. Honestly, that that may be better than Bantu on the draw. All these coils. Let's take out a reveler for a coil. Let's take out two rev let's take out a mayhem devil for a coil also. Wait, why is the 61 now? Why is that 61? I just took out four cards and put in four cards. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually take out the devil. The devil didn't come out. Did I take out something else then instead of the devil? No, cuz yeah, it's at 61.
Okay. Game two. We just don't want Wild Growth Walker to go crazy. That's how we lose. Well, we also want to cast our spells. Never mind. That I should have said that. We want to cast our spells. Okay. We can cast our spells. That's good against the Waka. Waka Waka. Alright, so the next turn to Bolt, and then the next turn, Remodi, draw three cards. But I guess at that point we'd have to discard two to draw three. So that's probably three turns down the line. Why, when you're playing your cool Rakdos aggro deck, does your opponent just have to have like turn two wild growth, turn three wild growth? Hmm. Interesting. I can just get that back. Seemed like a waste of a cast down. Ditch a Heartfire? Heartfire does six damage right now. So I can play I can play Remadi draw three. Yeah, I think I want this this heart fire. So I'm just gonna pick up the gutter bones and discard that. Could also just play the gutter bones. Then I wouldn't have had any blocker for for Tibalt. Ooh, down to ten. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Pretty sure they're dead. The land shall conquer you. They don't look very alive. It seems I have been outplayed. Maybe they're not dead. Um, let's see. If I do, uh, do that, 
do that there, then four, then they block here, then they take one, two, three, four, and they go down to two. I can kill both their creatures and put them to two. Um... Are they dead on board? Are they? So if I attack all, they go block, block. One, two, three. No, that's only... No, that doesn't kill them. I think this is my best play. I'll sacrifice this. There you go. No, they could have just blocked Re Remadi and stay alive. So I should have just dealt the four to the Wildgrowth Walker, not the four upstairs. This would it still put them to three, but the Wildgrowth Walker would be dead. What do you want me to do? Heartfire, Footlight, and Sack Goblin? How does that how does that kill them? So if I if I heart fire the footlight. And sacrifice. No, I, I should have hard fired this Wild Breath Walker so that they'd just be at three with this here. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Like hard fire footlight is is six damage. The the firebrand was two damage so that would have been eight but then they block devil and block reveler and they take one so they they would go to one if I just do that yeah they're they're at ten so heart fire footlight is six monkey is two they're at ten So that's eight. Block, block, block. Well, if they if they didn't block Footlight Fiend, I couldn't let damage happen first and then get the extra point because if I let damage because they were gonna have like assuming their three three blocks my three three, then after damage, um, you know like my Devil's gone, so I don't get that extra point for for sacking the Footlight Fiend after that. But I should have I should have had them at one more point of life and and heart fire the wild growth walker. 
Now they've been able to block this Remodi twice for two. And obviously the wild growth being gone would mean that they couldn't top deck an explore thing. But I, sh I shouldn't have done the four upstairs. I should have dealt the four to wild growth. I don't really need to protect triggers. Oh my gosh, please tick, please tick up. Please tick up. Tick up, tick up. Tick up. Come on, Golgari Queen, tick up. Frasca, tick up. Come on. You can do it. Do it. Do it. No, they didn't do it. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Dang, ticking up would have killed them. Because we would have dealt the one point to them with the devil before they would have gained the life. So yeah, they... If they don't have anything here, yeah, we win with, you know, just attacking, of course. With the Light Fiend and this other little devil. We haven't just slammed any Explore creatures. All right, GG, 3-0. Oh, that's a good point. If they tick up, that, that's a good point. No, sacrificing isn't a cost. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, soldier token. It's, sacrifice is not part of the cost because you get to choose if you would like to sacrifice or not. So it is part of the effect. So sac plusing would not have killed them. That's true. Good point. I forgot about that. Yeah, I have, I've, I'm sold on Heartfire. Yeah, Heartfire has been really nice. Can this deck be tier one? I don't know. It'd be tough. Uh, we've played... I've played a couple of Grixis and a Soul Tie. I think... I think like this kind of deck beating mono red is is usually what I've I've really struggled with these kind of decks beating mono red because they just have all the burn spells and everything, um, and they have you know a lot better mana and just just everything that goes with it. And then also like the all these Esper decks with with just tons of Basilica Bell haunts and Othakayas and things like that. I think Esper. Like the current Esper deck would be really tough too. I think those would be two matchups that I wouldn't want to face. Two of the maybe the most popular matchups. So this is Sway's deck. Sway says that they won nine ranked matches in a row on Sunday and Monday. But you struggled with Dreadhorde. Interesting. Hey, Dad. This is where I'd rather have a lightning strike. Yeah, we'll throw him a bone. Throw that bone to the gutter.
Let's see what we draw here. See if we draw a three drop. Ooh, we did. Macron! Thanks for that resub there. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Macron. All right, down to two. The devil. All right, unicycler. You've been good to us so far. Yeah, still got to do the Orzhov midrange. Haven't done that yet. The immortal be called. I have other schemes to... I am death's master. Uh, can we get that last turn? Or like, you know, why couldn't we have that with the devil? I will return. So if we draw a land, well, I mean, I, I guess if Bantu just hits them, they, they die. Angrath would have been GG. Ugh, stop. Just, they're at two, just die. Ugh. Now this Nicol Bolas is going to lock us out. My revenge will be pain. My intellect is without limit. Uh. That was really unfortunate. Bantu timing. Conceivable. Drew two spells that they got rid of, and then we just drew the lands afterwards. Could our Bantu just like draw, draw lands, and then we get spells? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, Heartfire is not a live top top deck. No, we are in really rough spot. We only have things that can deal one damage. Unfortunately, sometimes our our cool cards of our kind of jankiness of Mayhem Devil and Bantu really, really hurt. You know, if we're just playing Legion War Boss and Angrath, you know, like our opponent's dead. Alright, Firebrand. Down to one. We'll pick up the gutter bones where we can disc we can get rid of the gutter bones to Nicol Bolas's exile thing. I have other plans. I outsmarted you eons. My assistants are painfully slow. My knowledge is All right. English. Can we get another firebrand or <clears throat> Firebrand or Dreadhorde Butcher? The Mayhem Devil was like really, really good against like that green deck, though. Definitely love the Mayhem Devil there. Uh, Mayhem Devil there. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not sold. I'm still not sold on Bantu, to be honest. But I think like these, we've played a lot of matchups like where our opponents are just trying to get rid of all of our resources, and that's not a good matchup for Bantu. Like when you're already going to be. Uh, kind of short on resources. I think Bantu is better against like the green creature decks that, like especially like that are just trying to go real wide and not really interact with you too much. Like the mana creature decks, like your your Bant decks and stuff like that. Yeah, Frenzy could be pretty great in our deck. Good 
Well, now Dreadhorde Butcher isn't is in and out anymore. Now it's just solely Firebrand. Metamorph. Thanks for that sub there, Metamorph. Down to one. One life. So close. Just getting one more point of life in there. That's all we needed. All right, sideboard time. This is kind of weird how much Grixis we've seen, right? Like the three in a row here. Or three out of four, sorry. Three out of four in this league. R is for whenever we play ranked matches. So if, if I play it in ranked, I put it up, put the R there. Yes, Eternal Taskmaster is worse than Remadi Reveler. Um, honestly, a card that I wouldn't mind seeing in here in the two drop slot that m may be better than Reveler? Maybe not. But if, if you're looking, if you don't like it, if you're looking for a different two drop, the card to play is uh, Viachino Pyromancer. The only thing to fear, I adore. All right, yeah, take care. Uh, the one right before Mythic. I'm not quite Mythic yet because I haven't, haven't played that much. Is it, is it Diamond before Mythic? That's, that's what we played for the Teamer Hydra. I do hate how Reveler is a, is a must. You know, like, Viachino Pyromancer would be awesome here. But there's other times where Remodi Reveler would be awesome. It's not like you may discard a card. It's, you have to if you are if you're playing it, you're discarding.
a moment of craving. Well, yeah, now it looks silly that I didn't kill the mo the nickel bolus with that with that moment of craving for sure. Now it looks silly that I didn't. So I didn't kill the bolus because the bolus didn't even, like with with me having the the Judith out the bolus didn't have good blocks they couldn't couldn't block the reveler or the devil yeah God and and so you like I wanted to be able to have the war boss so I could you know go wide you know war boss is good especially you know like with the Judith and everything but. Yeah, obviously, them having that moment of craving there, if I knew about that, I should have heart-fired. I just took a line and it ended up not working out. Because if I, if I cast the heart-fire, then, you know, like, I, my token sacrificed and... Then my war boss is also gone, so we we basically only have two things left with just the the Judith and the Remadi, and then everything else is gone. And so I let them take the heart fire, keep the token, and one to play war boss and, and go wide and everything, because their blocks weren't really very good with the Judith still in play. Odd. Well, we had to get beaten by the Grixis deck one of these times. Play against it three times. Going to lose once. Good game. No, I, I, I don't think the... I think the Grixis is a good... A pretty good matchup for this deck. Like, I... I'm gonna reset because it's it's been um, lagging with a lot of decisions that I'm making, but no, that's that's one of the best matchups we can face is the Grixis matchup. They there's times like whenever Grixis wins the game, they win by miles, right? Like that's that's what happens with the Grixis. Whenever they win, they win by miles because like they really get rid of all of your like possible cards and everything like that. Well, most of the time, I guess. Um, but it's it's the kind of thing like if they have Cry of the Carnarium, then it's then we lose if they don't, or like then we could lose if they don't. Then we're probably going to be winning. I feel like we just played this opponent a little bit ago. That name looks familiar. Is this Grixis again, or was that like, or is this from before? Is this Esper. So Remodi out for Viachina Pyromancer? Not necessarily. I mean, not necessarily. I'm. The biggest thing I'm not sold on is Bantu still. But like, I'm not sold Bantu's better than Chandra and Angrath. Planeswalkers are pretty strong. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely not Lazotep Reaver. Def def I think Viachino. I like Viachino more than Fireblade Artist. Also, well, Fireblade Artist actually does work really well with Devil. Maybe it would be Fire. Actually, yeah, it would probably be Fireblade Artist if you take out Remadi. But 
Remadi's a good card too. Like Remadi would be like I hope they keep, let me keep Remadi. Remadi would be awesome here. Like please take a priest. This is the kind of time where Remadi can shine. Yeah, it's a tough call. It is. Somebody bothering you? I'll make them suffer. You beat me this time. Bravo. I'll be back. Just you wait. And this would be the the best time we could best time to draw up onto. Yeah, dumping the four damage into Kaya does hurt, but it's just worth it. See, this is where that's where Rimadi is perfect. Right here. Perfect. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So if they don't have removal, which it doesn't seem like, we should have lethal here. Sack all of our stuff. Deal seven. Yeah, that was perfect to draw. Reveler into Bantu. Perfect. Actual perfect. All right. Duress. War boss. Chandra and Grath. Take a Judith out. Do you want a Spark Harvest here? To try to take down Teferi's. Or do I want this? Or do I want the Devil? Where if we have the Devil in play and then draw the Bantu? Yeah, we'll do devil. Deck needs something a bit more resilient to cry. Yeah, that's where... See, I wonder if there could be a good Rakdos aggro that maybe just doesn't have the sacrifice stuff at all. Like, maybe if... If, uh... I mean, I know, like, there's... Like, the sacrifice stuff can do really cool things, but I wonder if, like... Priest of Forgotten Gods was, if that card was Viashino Pyromancer. And then, I mean, you know, basically make it mono red, kind of, except for, you know, splashing a little bit of black for, you know, like Gutterbones, uh, 
the Dreadhor Butcher, um, and then an Angrath, basically. I don't know. It's probably just worse. I guess it's just worse mono red. But maybe not. But then you have like Duress also. The mono red verse control. I don't. I don't like dread dread horde invasion too much these days. Not with like little Teferi just continually bouncing your your things. But yeah, like Frenzy, light up the stage. Those cards would work well to win this deck. That was really unfortunate. Our two lander on the draw didn't get to a third land. I was like, I need third land, and they're like three mana spell? No, th third land. me later. I'll protect you. Stupid duress bug. Ugh, attacking this thing they get to gain two. Gross. You just let me know if you're up for round two. So they can't draw white mana ever. Here we go. 17. Need them to draw a basic swamp. Okay, it's not a white land. Once they draw a white, white land, we die. Down to eight. No white mana. Woo! We're four and one. Did it. All right, Rakdos Aristocrats on to the final boss. On to the final boss here. All right, we'll try this. Yeah, nice three color deck. <laughs> I 
Yeah, six mana Chandra is going to be good. It looks to pair really well with Nyssa, how it deals three damage to all the creatures, but not elemental creatures, and Nyssa makes elemental creatures. Alright, that's enough lands, deck. We need spells. Hmm. I feel like if I play Dreadhorde Butcher, my opponent will just block. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's worth it too. Especially because Paradise Druid can, you know, like add blue if they don't have blue mana. Ball's definitely been nice. Yep. I will protect yeah, and you can... If you missed the Teamer Hydra, check it out on the YouTube channel. Got him down to nine. Oh, they're so cute. I guess I, I should play the mountain there, because if it's... If we draw a sixth land, six, six mana, we can return both gutter bones and play them again. So in case that's a scenario that presents itself here. Yeah, I put all the videos up on YouTube. Yep, everything goes up there. Every deck I play here on stream also goes up on YouTube. The other three decks that we've played today so far are up there currently. Rise, my elemental friend. On Mayhem Devil or Judith. Judith or Devil. Yeah. Oh, it says fifteen mana. Maybe they only have lands in hand and can't do anything else. Yeah, 15 mana. Yeah, well, how could that be a problem? Uh, 
How could that be a problem? Yep, can't can't see how fifteen mana there's a problem. Hmm, it's a tough matchup to sideboard for. And I do think the bond I do think the Bantu Mayhem Devil combo is is good here. Just gonna replace Footlight Fiends with Angraths. And try to have a better hand than what we had this past time. Could see maybe taking out a Tibalt. Yeah, I, I just want my my main deck plan. Especially with Priest of Forgotten Gods and stuff like that to, to work. Yeah, we want good Priest. We want... Mayhem Devils, and then like a big Bantu. Basically, Angrath can take out a big Krasis, though. You know, like they have a, they have, they ramp into like a really big Krasis. We can steal it with Angrath and like kill them, especially if there was like a Tibalt. Uh, but yeah, like, Angrath is just so good against Krasis. So like, like, let's imagine like that last turn if they were ramping into like a, you know, a, 12 12 crisis or whatever and they're at nine and we just steal the crisis tack it for 12 that could be something that could happen all right so our hand is pretty bad it's basically the exact same that we had last time we mulliganed we mulliganed to four lands a gutter bones and a tibalt or tibalt so we have basically the same thing except for just a heart fire as well so we need to draw two drop this is the first step. Which is the same thing that we did last time, but we were on the draw last time. This time we were on the play, so we win. And now we're on game three. Yeah, I think I might have played that game perfectly. I don't... It's really hard to find a game that you ever play perfectly, but I may have played that one perfectly. I don't think I made any mistakes. I think keeping the hand was correct. I would say I played, like, one out of a thousand games perfectly. You know, it's like, basically never happens. But I think that one was actually perfect. Could have used that third land there. G 
Jeez. Well, that's just plain rude. lot of trouble here in ever drawing this third land. Five draw steps, no lands. Show off. Well, we ran into the let's beat this Rakdos Aristocrats deck opponent. And my friend is here to help your pain. I'm gonna deal with these rip jaws. Thanks, Rex. block all right so four and two still a good league even though didn't quite didn't quite finish out the five wins but yeah that was rough Just, they had an awesome awesome hand and we didn't have a third land I mean if if they just don't don't have the Tulsimer, <clears throat> honestly if we have three if we have three lands and they don't have Tulsimer, it's a much different game where if we get to actually have our priest of forgotten gods. Um We did it yeah, we got that that dream Bantu, that is true. That was definitely worth it. Against that S the game one against Esper, uh round five where we got to we got to uh, our top deck Reveler, which then drew the Bantu, which then killed our opponent. Because we needed that Reveler also. Like, even if we just drew the Bantu, well, we still probably kill our opponent. But, yeah, I guess we would have also. But the Reveler was nice because then we got to sacrifice the Reveler to the Priest where we couldn't sacrifice the Mayhem Devil. Um, but, yeah, pretty sweet list pretty sweet list. If you want to be doing some sacrificing, uh, I'd recommend giving this one a try. The heart fires were really nice. I was very impressed by that card. I was skeptical going in. I was like, is this card really just better than lightning strike? And it was. It was a lot better. Uh, that uh, having a sacrifice a creature was pretty beneficial a lot of the time with like Mayhem Devil and Judith and everything like that. Um, but yeah, basically with this this kind of deck, you know, we we don't have a whole lot of, of gas, you know, in here. And I I wonder if we should just be playing, you know, like light up the stages, an experimental frenzy. This cards are pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, no, duress is I like duress more than drill bit. No, I I would keep duress in over drill bit. I would kind of want to find find some room. Like maybe the two footlight fiends could just be too light up the stages. 
instead of the Footlight Fiends, for example. Tybalt was okay. Tybalt, Tybalt was okay. Wasn't spectacular. Wasn't amazing. Okay. Um, but not not necessarily spectacular. Spectacular. There we go. All right. It's end of the night tonight. Uh, so that's Rakdos Aristocrats. Things to think about. Um, but definitely a, a good deck, and I enjoy playing it. So thanks for that donation there, Sway. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, um, thank you so much for watching. There we go. And I hope you enjoyed it. And please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate those. Um, but yeah, that's it here for Rakdos Aristocrats. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you for another video.